Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for this occasion. Before telling you my speech, I'd like to say thank you very much for Mary Cruz Yogi Parda and its owner, Mr. Ahmad Kachuko. And for all of the teachers there I really respect. They are Mr. Andreas as the headmaster and also as our housekeeping teacher and also our senior teacher, Mr. Sandy. He is our English teachers, especially for the speaking lessons. And also Mr. Pemil. He is our food and beverage teachers. And the last is Ms. Belinda. She is uh, our English teachers too, especially for grammar and reasoning. And for all of you, my friends, maybe some of you haven't known me so well. So let me introduce myself first. My name is Ahmad Abu Bakar Aras. You can call me Aras. I come from South Sulawesi. And I graduated from the University in Bali, majoring in tourism. <coughs> well, today is the 3rd of March, 2021. This is our final exams. So that's why I'm standing in front of you all to tell, my, to tell about my speech. It's about shopping. As we know that shopping is an activity which is usually done by everyone. But not just a girl, even a man is doing it silently. Shopping. It can be done in anywhere at any time, for example. You can just visit the, the traditional market, the mall and other shops and we call it offline shopping. In this era, we know that technology is growing. We can get everything by using it. And one of them is e-commerce. You know, e-commerce is, is a, an electronic commerce for buying, selling, marketing products and services. By using technology systems like the internet, smartphone, and, or other computer networks, and we call it online shopping. Talking about shopping makes me really interested. Because we know that there are two types of them, namely offline shopping and online shopping. So the things that make, makes me interested is that how to compare, I'd like to compare them uh, about its, weakness, uh, its, its strengths and weaknesses of offline shopping and online shopping. Firstly, I'd like to tell you about the strange of uh, offline shopping. The first is uh, Hack Trust. We know that it has physical uh, shop where we can visit it directly and face to face with the seller. And also, you can choose the product uh, directly, for example, if, uh, for buying t shirts. You can try it at the same time, you can try it there. Because uh, it's sometimes different from the pictures. So you don't have to worry about the size. And the second one is a secure payment system. Someone who visits the shop will usually pay you by cash. Paying directly will make the transaction cheaper. So we can help you don't have to worry about the failed transaction or deception. And then the third one is uh, the customer service is easier. You don't also have to worry about damages. For example, if the product gets broken, you can change it at the same time. So it, it, the, it won't waste your time. And the second, uh, the last trench is a uh, modern system. You can take your product after paying because jellyfish system 
will uh, waste your time three to five days. Well, let's talk about the strange uh, of unshaking. So next, let's talk about its, uh, its weaknesses. The first is limited market. We know that offline shopping are offline shops are not dynamic. They are usually available in one place or the center of city. So for someone who lives in the village or suburb, will be difficult to reach them. And the second one is it needs more expenses. Reaching them needs accessibility and transportation. So that's why you will waste or spend your money before arriving there. And the third one is a limited, limited sales time. Each, every shop has their own uh, operating time. They usually operate uh, 10 to 12 hours a day. Uh, and all buying, selling transaction with, can only be done within that time period. Besides that, it will be closed, it will be closed and doesn't serve the customers anymore. All right, those are about the strangest and weaknesses of offline shopping. And let's talk about online shopping. Of course, it has strangest and weaknesses too. So about its, weak, about its strangest, the first is convenience. If you are too busy, too busy and don't have much time to be shopping, or sometimes the weather doesn't support you. You can do shopping anytime. You can touch just take your phone and type it. The second one is privacy. It's really different from offline share. By online shopping, you don't need to be ashamed of uh, buying things that you were uncomfortable to buy it. For example, if you really want to buy bikini, strong medicine, or even sex toys, <laughs> your private, of course your privacy will be protected and uh, your neighbor or your friends don't have to know if you do shopping or not. The third one is unlimited stocks and variable. As we know that there are a lot of platforms in online in e-commerce, for example, Shopee, Pedia, Lava, Urbania, and also people you can buy in Facebook or Instagram. So you can just take your phone or your computer and type it in boom your products will be shared on your screen. And the last uh, strange of online shopping is a flexible time. As we know that an activity, acti the, the activities in cyberspace will be running 24 hours. So you can do shopping in, uh, anytime, even midnight or early morning. Well, that's about the uh, strangers and let's talk about the weaknesses. The first is uh, con consumerism. The first habit of online shopping is this habit can uh, grow your consumerism up in yourself. It can be happen and unconsciously you will buy the product that, that, that Actually, you don't need it. So I just want to remind you that you have to know about your primary needs and your secondary needs. And uh, next is you cannot see the product directly. Without looking at the product, we won't be able to know that that if the product gets broken or the product is out of your expectation, when it happens, you 
have to restore your product to the seller and it will waste your time again. And the last weakness is uh, of online shopping is uh, internet connection or networks. We have to know that without connection, the online shopping will be useless for us. So, well, those all about the strangers and weaknesses uh, between offline shopping and online shopping. Uh, as we know, at as I said before, that each of them has their own strength and weakness. So, come back to yourself. You have to be smart for choosing or uh, to do shopping. You have to know about your primary needs and your secondary needs. That's all from me. Thank you very much for your attention, guys. I hope my speech will be useful for you and for me too. I'm so sorry if I made mistakes. So thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.